Sam from Kelly Anderson. Can you both discuss the importance of being a positive role model for girls and young women, young kids, um, and how you feel about that and deal with the responsibility? Um, I think you would understand that too. It's, it's weird because you're thrown into the spotlight and you see with a lot of athletes and um, celebrity figures, people making bad decisions and every movie you make is watched. And so it's, it's hard, but it's an honor. It's something you work for and being a role model for me, it's, I don't know, being a good role model for gymnasts that are coming up and young girls and stuff. So it's hard, it's nerve wracking, but I love, I love the title. Mm -hmm. Definitely, especially from being from a small town, yeah. it's, a, it's a, a way to show that it doesn't really matter where you come from. If you mm -hmm. work hard enough, then mm -hmm. you know things can be accomplished. And um, you know, especially with us being in our, you know, I guess well, I am 20 now, but kind of our teenish sort mm -hmm. of, you know, 20ish sort of years. We have you know all these option bad decisions that we could be making because of our surroundings and stuff. So I even think that. Um, being in the spotlight is not only good for us to help other people, but it puts you under a microscope, so it helps you better yourself as a person. Mm -hmm. um, you can't make a bad decision and get away with it, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you mm -hmm. got a camera somewhere or someone blabbing about it somewhere else, you know? So definitely keeps yourself in check, and um, for me, it was just, like, cool to do it for, like, my little brothers and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Gives them a... a um, good motivational drive to go do something because I know how it is in high school sometimes you're not you're like you know my brother like I don't want to go to school yeah. you know I mean it's not always fun but it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel you know keep trying harder and do well and you know mm -hmm. yeah um, when I was covering you on American Idol and talking to people from your past, uh -huh. the common thing that everyone said is that you're fearless and you would just go out as a young kid on the stage and think nothing of it and just sing your heart out or um, you, you weren't afraid to experiment with different styles and Sean, with your career as a gymnast, um, you have to be some sort of fearless to mm -hmm. be able to do all the amazing feats that you did, but is there anything that kind of gives you butterflies in your stomach or makes you nervous or is there anything? Singing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, doing Olympic stunts? Yeah. <laughs> or dancing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's getting easier now, but the whole interview thing was really weird at first. It's not that I'm not a personal person, it's just that like they'll put you on the spot and mm -hmm. they'll be like, what's something really interesting about yourself and then you'd give like five different things and then they were like no not that not that one I'd be like am I not interesting you know like it's hard it's hard to <laughs> critique uh -huh. yeah it's, so it's nerve-wracking being in front of people and especially I think with American Idol there's you know there's there's blogs there's people who discuss there's newspapers and media who who critique your every move so that's really nerve-wracking because you're always questioning yourself but yeah, you definitely have to have a good sense of yourself to yeah. be able to be in that sort of world because yeah. they'll eat you alive. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. will. They really will eat you alive. So um, I would say, yeah, being in front of judges because I'm not used to that sort of environment mm -hmm. with anything I do. I'm just used to performing and, mm -hmm. you know, having that appreciation of it, not criticism, you know. So.